The Bill and Kelly Show is brought to you by Sci-Fi Donuts. Raise Movers and Storage, Inc. Hello and welcome to the Bill and Kelly Show. Today our guest is Adam Golikowski. Adam is joining us today to tell about a special event that he is hosting for, uh, for the Bishop Knoll Institute uh, to benefit the stream uh, implementation that they're putting in. So you want to tell us about the event and when it's going to be and what it entails? Bill, it would be my pleasure. The event is on April 28th, Sunday, April 28th at 2 p.m., and we are giving a full, a full two-hour concert for the benefit of the STEM program, which, as you mentioned, Bishop Noel calls the STREAM program. And the STEM is, of course, based on engineering, uh, STEM, science, engineering, technology, and math. And what, what they've added is religion and arts to those four letters to make STREAM. The now, stream. The, the great part about this program is that... Um, uh, it's called Adam Golikowski and Friends, and I do have friends that are really very, very talented. In particular, we have a local gentleman named David Herr, who works with the Diocese of Gary. He's going to be our keyboard man. And then we have a lo another local person, George Buck, who's our drummer. And George is a teacher at St. John the Baptist Middle School. And then we have another local person who is David Boban, and David happens to be the um, the choir director for Bishop Knoll and also the choir director for St. John the Baptist Middle School, and we're having representatives from both choirs be in the concert with us. Mm -hmm. And we also have a special guest from out of town who happens to be a, a student of mine when I taught high school back in Muncie, Indiana some time ago. And anyway, this gentleman is a uh, former band director. His name is Mark Frederick, and he plays the bass and the guitar. And uh, he has some special talents. In particular, he's such an experienced bass player that he's been invited to play the bass with the Drifters, the Coasters, and the Platters when they play in towns in the Midwestern states. So Mark is, is going to add a, a special talent to our, our, our group. Uh, we have a wide variety of music that we're, we're, we're going to do, including some Broadway show tunes. We're going to open the show with You Are My Sunshine. Um, and I was inspired the other day, by the way, when I heard that song again on the radio, but this time it was done by a choir. And that's when mm. I got the idea to invite the students from Bishop Nolan from St. John the Baptist. So they're going to join us on four or five songs. Uh, it's going to be a hoot. We're going to do a variety of things. As I, as I mentioned, uh, You Are My Sunshine and uh, some Broadway show tunes, including They Call the Wind Mariah. And I have a special treat for everybody. It's a song from the movie The Mule by Clint Eastwood, which is a current movie being, well, it's kind of trickering, t t trickling out now, but uh, it, it'll be on DVD shortly and all. And the last song in the movie is a really wonderful song written by Toby Keith for the movie mm. uh, called Don't Let the Old Man In. 
<laughs> and there's a cute little story about that. So we have a wide variety of talents and a wide variety, a variety of instruments. And I forgot to mention David Boban, who is the music director at, or choir director at uh, Bishop Knoll Institute. He plays eight instruments. I told him the other day, it reminds me of Prince, you know. So he, I don't know what he's going to play on all these songs, but it's going to be a hoot. Yeah. Oh, so uh, let's go over some of the things, like the location. This is going to be at the Bishop Knoll Institute Theater, uh, which Bishop Knoll is at 1519 Hoffman Street in Hammond, Indiana. Um, and also, just go over some of the ticket pricing yeah. tickets. If you go online, and I believe that is bishopknoll.org, go there. You'll see a link where you can purchase your tickets for $20 a piece in advance. However, if you don't have time and you want to just show up at the door, those tickets are going to be $25 a piece at the door. That is correct. So, And also, we have a guest coming on here in just a bit. Yes, I was lucky enough to have Paul Mullaney, happens to be the president of Bishop Knoll. And for all of you who are not aware of this move that the bishop has made about two years ago, instead of having a principal at each high school, Andrean and Bishop Knoll, uh, he decided to install a president at each school. So the president takes care of all these kinds of um, fundraising things and activities, leaving the principal a focused time to spend on students and education. So it's a, it's a fabulous idea, and so far it's working out super well at Bishop Knoll. And he'll be on in just a bit after yep. you sing, uh, yep. share with us a, a song. And, uh, and yeah, Adam is going to play a song for us, and, and we'll have him on shortly yeah. after. And he'll go over some details about the STEM program, which is their own version, which is the STREAM program right. that interlaces the religion and the arts, yeah. in the, hence the STEAM. Uh, stream, excuse yeah, me. Yeah. Um, but so that that's going to be quite interesting. So uh, now, if you will, well, just share. One more thing I oh, want to yes, mention that Ke right Kelly, Kelly, uh, I, I showed her the list of songs we were going to do, and I said, pick out a song you want me to sing today. And she picked out Blowing in the Wind by Bob Dylan. Uh, Dylan, which is go. awesome. We can't wait to hear it. Uh, so with that, we'll turn the uh, stage over to you. Thank you. Thank you, Adam. a man walk down before you can call him a man how many seas must the white bell sail before she sleeps in the sand and how many times must the cannon balls fly
That was great. Well, thank you of what you'll be hearing um, and, and more. That's so, a teaser. <laughs> yeah, yeah. By the way, I would be negligent if I didn't mention we are taping this show from Sci-Fi Donuts, <laughs> which is appropriate for the topic that we're going to be talking about today, uh, the STEM pro stream program. Right. Uh, so um, with that, uh, I'm going to ask Kelly if she has a mind to sit down. No, I would love to. I need some more coffee from here because they oh, have great coffee. good Lord. So, yeah. Because I never have enough caffeine. <laughs> yeah, yeah, our is Paul Mullaney, who is the president of the Bishop Knoll Institute. Welcome to our show and welcome to Sci-Fi Donuts. Phil and Callie, thanks for having me and thanks for having Adam and uh, happy to be here. We're honored to have you. So uh, let's talk about this program that this well, wonderful event is going to go to support. Uh, it is called the Stream, which is kind of a different play on... Uh, what is available in the other schools, which is just the STEM. Right. Well, we like like many of the schools around, we do follow the curriculum uh, that Project Lead the Way uh, puts forth. It's the leading curriculum of STEM in, in the country. Um, but we, we do do our own touch to it because of being a Catholic school in the Diocese of Gary. Uh, we have the religion component, and we have a rich history of the arts. People like Adam who, you know, class of 98. Uh, <laughs> What, 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 back, what? back in the day, Adam, Adam, you know, which decade was that? <laughs> to a large degree, you know, kind of, sort of, got his start in the arts at, I at, did. at Bishop Knoll, and we have a rich history. We're in our 98th year as a school. We get two years away from our big centennial, and um, so, so that's the arts and religion. Of course, are two of our curricular hallmarks at the school. So we find ways to integrate that into the curriculum, uh, and then the. The STEM lab itself that we're renovating, which is the, the funding which this is going to, is our, is our former pool area. So it's, it's a large open room that's going to become a, very, a, a great learning space for our students uh, through, through our STEM courses and other things. So there's different sec sections of the room that will be used for, for learning, for classroom, for maker space, for a prototype lab, for all kinds of different functionality. You know, from whether it's just be sitting there listening to a, a, a talk from a teacher, or rolling up your sleeves and doing hands-on projects, you know, through through uh, robotics or whatever whatever it may be. So, uh, it's 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 the uh, you know the STEM skills are are what employers today are saying that they need, uh, and and um, it's so important for our, to set the table for our kids and at all levels, even if they don't go on to uh, secondary education, they can go on and I mean it's it's a skill that you can't begin to work anywhere without having to put your hand on uh, either a computer or something to uh, to either log time or bill someone or a cash register I mean it, it's getting so complex but the other thing is you know with technology uh, the explosion of technology in our uh, world today uh, it it's a necessary skill a day-to-day -day skill so um, when when the state of Indiana made this opportunity available, uh, it was it was awesome. Uh, so, um, so uh, talk to us a little bit more about what, what is uh, what is the enrollment at Bishop Knoll right now? Well, we're um, we're just a little under five hundred, mm -hmm. um, and like I say, in our ninety eighth year, uh, we're one of three uh, high schools in the diocese of Gary, and we happen to be the largest of the three high schools. And uh, so we, uh, you know, it's. Uh, our, our, our students come from 36 different zip codes and uh, from, a little, you know, throughout the region. Uh, we have a few kids from Porter County. We get a, the majority of our kids from Lake County. We get some from Illinois. Awesome. Oh, that's, that's great. That's a, uh, so um, what, what are the future plans for the STEM, the STREAM program? Well, our, our STREAM program curriculum has been in existence for a few years now. Uh, so well, we've been adding on to it. Um, so all freshmen take an uh, introductory course that they're required to take. Um, uh, for, for It's an intro to STEM. And we actually have some eighth graders also who come into our building every morning from some of our diocesan elementary schools that started. So it's like getting that, getting that requirement out of the way. And then we branch out. We have an intro to engineering. We have computer programming. And, we're, and as electives that kids can take after they complete the introductory course. And 
we're growing we're growing that field uh, as we go each year. So um, so basically that the the areas of study uh, in st under the STEM umbrella and all would be uh, engineering, computer programming, or computer sciences, and biomedical would be the areas that we will expand our curriculum and our electives with. And as far as the uh, religious classes or uh, uh, the immersion of um, in a religious type of atmosphere, can you explain how that happens a little bit? Are, is that something that is just embedded in the courses or are those in the separate? stream program specifically? Right. Well, of course, all of our all of our students, uh, being a Catholic school, we they are our not the state, but our graduation requirements that the, each student takes a theology course every semester, and they follow the curriculum set forth by the U.S. Conference of Catholic Bishops. Uh, we also every student takes goes on a, a spiritual retreat once a year. So they, so four four retreats in over four years, four years of religious studies. So in the STEM program. It would be more of a practical implication of, of uh, and, and one of the features of the STEM curriculum is that it's a very cross curricular. So you got, you would have biology classes working with, math classes working with, English classes working. You know, it's it's part of the culture. So hypothetically, you could have, and I'll just give this hypothetical that you could have a, um, a group of students, let's say an environmental science class, working on an urban garden, and then you, and then growing food, and you can have students in the theology class who are performing service and trying to outreach to the community, delivering that kind of food to the people who are in need. You know, that's just that's just a very initial example of the type of things that... So in a way, it is kind of embedded. In yes. This, and so across the curriculum. So that's awesome. And uh, so this event is going to help uh, get those needs, the uh, materials for the STEM program or STREAM program. And uh, so with that, I, um, Adam, is there anything you want to add to this? I want to encourage all those who are listening to um, get in touch with bishopnoel.org and get your tickets reserved. It's going to be a real fun show. And I, I promise you it's going to be very exciting. And, and the, the talent of people that I have around me, which I feel so lucky to have, you're going to enjoy them as well. And Adam's pictures on the tickets too, so maybe <laughs> maybe he'll even sign, right. maybe he'll even autograph some of them. That's better than mine. <laughs> that's Am I really red now? Like... Do I look like a beat now? I'm not sure I look like a beat. Oh. oh, you may want to go with the Billy Corgan look. I mean... oh, 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 no, no. I'll keep the I'll keep the silver hair I have. You may open up a whole new cover <laughs> list that you can do. So with that, uh, we gosh, we uh, can't tell you how much we appreciate you two coming on and and sharing this with our listeners and. Um, I'm excited to hear about the outcome of uh, how the event happens, and uh, we'll get this posted up on our Facebook page and share it uh, across our platforms and uh, get the word out there. So, and we want to thank you both for being so kind to allow us to be a part of your, your whole program, and, and we will definitely keep you posted on how things went. Yes. Okay. Uh, unfortunately, Kelly has a uh, re actually a play that day, so I am, um, yeah. I, <laughs> I, no. Go to that. Mm. Well, it, it make, not everybody will be there. So, yeah. I mean, people have a lot of good reasons for, for not going. It happens to be on that Sunday. It happens to be Greek, uh, Greek Easter. So oh, yeah. all of yeah. the Greek friends I have are all going to be cooking lamb at home and and having a big feast there. Oh, so, wow. Probably people have that. three other opportunities to come and see me, so they can go see this and then pick a different day to come see There you go. There yeah. You go. yeah, definitely. <laughs> so we want to thank you again for being on the show, and we'd like to thank Sci-Fi Donuts, Yay! one of our sponsors, may I add, uh, for allowing us to come in and, and do this show from their uh, really, actually, I've got to show people something. This is going to be, uh, yeah. You know, and this fits right in with the STEM program. I'm telling you, if this, if my, uh, if I had this when I was a kid, I'm pretty sure my kids, uh, my uh, parents would have put me up for adoption. <laughs> um, yeah, I was really, yeah, I annoyed my parents. <laughs> so, uh, yeah, this is awesome. Where was this when I was a kid? Uh, really, seriously. All right, but um, yeah, communicator, I would have beamed me up, Scotty. Uh, so, <laughs> yeah. yeah. Yeah, better before they claim I stole it, yeah. which is a thought. 
<laughs> no, it's not. Now, William. <laughs> now, William. That's what you your mother sound, would always say. You know, that sounds like what Sister Rosarita would say. <laughs> she called to smack the living daylights out of me. <laughs> yeah, I had an eighth grade sister that pretty much made Dick Buckus look like a uh, schoolgirl. <laughs> there you yeah, go. So she put the fear of God in all of us eighth grade boys. Oh, How did goodness. I have the same teacher? How did I have the same <sighs> teacher? Oh, I'm telling you. With a different name. <laughs> I, poor Kelvin Dixon's head almost came flying clear off his shoulders. Oh, my God. Day. Yeah, all he was doing is whispering to me, and wham. And was, oh, he was, no, she didn't do that. She said, now, Kelvin, would you please be quiet? And then she hit him. Uh, but the story gets better every year, right? It does. Oh, yeah. oh, I could share many a story about St. Mark's in my days at St. Mark's. And I'm sure somewhere at St. Mark's buried in the disciplinary file is... A picture of you. Yeah, yeah. And that was pretty thick by old man. Well, with that, I'm getting off track here. So listen, um, Paul, we appreciate you coming on. Yes, and Adam, you. thank you for playing for us. And that pleasure. is awesome. My pleasure. That is great. Thanks for so having us. We wish the best uh, to you uh, and um, hope we get some monies for that STEM program because it is a much stream program because it is a much needed uh, exposure to get these yeah, kids. Yeah, we can come see the final product when it's all yeah. done. That would be cool. Yeah, we'll go Probably we can yeah, we'll uh, do a show tour. from Bishop. That Hall. would be awesome. We'd that would be okay. great. Well, with that, we'll close out the show, and we wish you all a safe rest of the week and a safe weekend. Goodbye for now. Bye, everybody. and Kelly show is brought to you by Sci-Fi Donuts Raise Movers and Storage Inc.